Roswell Flight Test Crew back here at CES 2015 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. And I'm talking to Gordon Cockburn. Gordon, how you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you guys today? <laughs> we're good. We're good. And you've got a new product here called the Aura. What is this all about? Sure. This is the Aura. This is our new quadcopter that, that fits into the camera photography quad range. Um, it's a 370 millimeter quad. It's powered by a, a high density 7,000 milliamp lipo battery pack, uh, which gives you 30 minute flight times, which is pretty good in this market space. So what, what are some of the features of the aircraft here? Well, it comes with our proprietary camera, or you can use a GoPro camera that fit our mounts. We have one axis, two axis, and three axis gimbals that are available. And this is a 12 megapixel camera with 1080p high definition video. And then I can't help but notice there's this large canister on the back of the aircraft, which I can't, what is that for? I can't figure out what that's for. What that is, that's our new uh, parachute um, recovery system. And what that does is, as, as, as you know, um, quads uh, fly relatively stable. If this goes to 80 degrees or more, this automatically deploys. Um, and uh, it, so it's a recovery system, not a landing system. And it will get your uh, quadcopter and your expensive camera back down to earth in one piece um, and hopefully safe. Wow, now that, that's a really nice feature, and I, what is that, does that come standard? Uh, no, this is actually an accessory that is available, but it is reloadable, it's about a 1.5 meter canopy, so that it'll safely return this at a safe speed. It has something called actual direction, and what actual direction does is, no matter where the quad is pointing, um, the, the way you move the stick on the transceiver is the way the quadcopter will go. And so you can fly in actual direction mode, or you can fly in standard radio control mode. Um, and, and you have control on whether you flip that on and off. And I have to say, it's in yellow and black, which is my favorite color scheme. So you, had a, you made a big fan of me there right off the bat. Oh, good. And uh, I notice it's very, uh, very sleek. Yeah, we think it's nicely designed, nicely trimmed out. It's easy to see in the sky. The lights there uh, orientation, the red lights and the blue lights, which kind of makes it a little bit more flyable. So that's important. Well, it's pretty darn snappy. It flies really good, actually. It's very quick response. That's very nice, actually. Looks like you can you can actually take it a little past the gimbal's maximum tilt, but you know what? That's if you're flying aggressively with a camera, you won't be doing that. So, very responsive, very nice, actually. Out you hold, seemed pretty good, actually. Of course, we're indoors on no GPS, but uh, otherwise, it flies really great. The first thing that grabbed us was this radio. This is this is just stupendous. I've never seen anything quite like that. Here, I'll trade you. This is a dual frequency band transceiver, um, and what this does is this will operate on the primary controls on 2.4 gigahertz and your video link on 5.8 gigahertz. So the two don't have anything to do in terms of interference with each other. That's very important. We're not using Wi-Fi, although we also include an integrated 7-inch Android touchscreen device, which does have Wi-Fi fully capable, and it allows you to do anything on the tablet that you want to, just like any other Wi-Fi device would be. But when you turn the quad on and you're flying, Wi-Fi automatically turns off. Again, it's another safety feature to provide less interference. You can use this to plot GPS points and fly this thing autonomously. We have a complete waypoint system that is included in the package. So you can actually plot your waypoints and then the quad will actually fly the routine for you, come back and land where you took it off within 12 inches. That's pretty tight precision. Yes. Now, and what are, talk to us through some of these switches here. Um, this one's a return to home switch so that you can turn that on and off. So if you get into trouble, this is actually a, another safety feature that allows you to actually bring the quad back if you get disoriented. There's our GPS switch. We have the camera control switch, knobs on the side of the transceiver, and then your trim mechanisms. And then actually you've got another small screen on top here with, um, is that aircraft telemetry or what is that? Exactly, telemetry, and that has a separate control system from the Wi-Fi device, which never ever is off or gets lost, so you have all that important telemetry information at your eyesight at all times. It's gonna uh, let you know the altitude, the distance from the quad um, is from you, and the, and the battery life, which are the three most important things you need to know. Can you get your FPV video on this screen as well? Oh, absolutely. Um, and that, what we're looking at here is a, is a um, urban picture of, of Las Vegas, which is where we are. And you can switch it to a video uh, FPV uh, mode and you can actually see what you're flying as you're flying it instantaneously. 
So, you, so what you've actually got here is a split screen, so you can have your waypoints or your aircraft location on your map and simultaneously be seeing your FPV video feed. Absolutely. You can control the size of each one of those depending on what works better for you. All right, so I suppose the two most important questions for all of our multi-rotor enthusiasts out there, when does it come out and what's it going to cost? Okay, um, everything that we've talked about today is going to sell in different configurations for uh, between $1,500 and $2,000, um, and we're uh, going to be shipping it at the end of March. All right, end of March. Okay, guys, well, you don't know if you heard it here first, but it is really cool, and you did hear it here. Well, George, thank you so much for your time today. You're quite welcome. Nice talking to you guys. Okay, nice here. chatting with you, too. Amazing stuff. And from uh, CES 2015, Las Vegas, Nevada, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off.